How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the source code. My name is Deshaun and in this episode we are going to go ahead and get started using some embeds. So embeds are really easy to use and they're really great because you can start creating some really interesting and dynamic messages when you use embeds. We're gonna get, just gonna exchange this message out for an embedded message. Um, you can use embeds for literally whatever you want to, but this is how we're gonna go ahead and use them. So we will just change this to embed, and then we'll go ahead and make our new uh, embed up here. So let's go ahead and say const embed equals new discord dot message embed parentheses enter and we can go ahead and set the color and now you don't have to do these in any particular order i would say whatever order you start finding works for you i would try to stick to that order um, and it'll just make your life a lot easier so let's go ahead and say color and this use is uh hex colors so i'm just gonna go to google right here and let me just grab a color that i like let's grab a let's grab a nice blue and we'll pop that in there we'll go ahead and click enter then i will go ahead and give it a title and this will be no args or actually you know what we'll say error and uh, since this is an error let's actually change this to a nice red now that i am thinking about this that would make more sense right error message being red Okay, then we'll say set title to error. Then let's go ahead and set description. And this will be, I'm sorry, but you, well, we will just say not enough arguments. And now one more thing here, let's just go ahead and say set footer. And we'll just say bot error log or something. Okay. And so now if we go ahead and start our bot and we open this up and we say test. Oh, sorry. It has to be an actual command ping. And there we go. There is our embed. And now you can start doing some really fun things with embeds. Like th this is a very simple embed, right? So now if I wanted to is I could go ahead and Let's just go back up here. Let's get rid of that. And let's just say set. And now we can do what's called a field, right? So we can do one at a time like this, where it's basically just a title and then a key. So we'll just say uh, code, comma, and then we'll say, you know, 00x9 or something. And then we will go ahead and say true. And that's basically uh, if you just want it to stay in the line. So I'll show you what I mean with that. So let's go ahead and close our bot, open our bot. Let's just copy that ping. So there we go. And so now we have our code. And now if we change this to false, it might not work properly with the little amount of information we have here, but we can find out. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to change uh, based on uh, how many, how little information we have. Uh, but now there's also another way you can add fields is you can add multiple fields at once by doing add fields. And now with add fields, it's a little more complicated, um, but also still pretty easy. Uh, again, using uh, the JSON format here. So we can just go ahead and say, oh. we can just go ahead and say squiggly brackets. I don't know why the squiggly brackets did that. It will say name, and this will be a value. Well, we'll just change this to name to make it easy. And then we'll do comma value. And this is going to be a value. I don't know why my Discord keeps, or my Visual Studio keeps jumping around. We'll say value. And then inside of here, we'll say value. And then we'll say inline. And then we'll say true. And now if you wanted to add multiples of these, and I'm just gonna actually change this here so it's not, uh, not like that we'll say true in the space all you have to do is just add in a comma and 
basically add another one, right? So I can just do this, enter, paste, we'll say name two, value two. Let's go ahead and save that. Let's close out, let's restart our bot. And now if I go ahead and say slash ping or exclamation point ping, you can see here that I have uh, multiple values. Now you can see what I was talking about with the inline, right? It's not making a separate line for each one of these fields. It's staying in line, which in some cases you'll want to do depending on what you're sending. But in uh, a lot of people's cases, you'll probably want to set this to false. So that way they have their own line and it's not getting bunched up because eventually you'll start having, you know, lots of information that won't necessarily be able to fit really nicely side by side. Um, and so that's something you can do. And to keep adding on to this, another thing that we can do is we can actually go ahead and set a timestamp, which for some people could be important, right? So we can just say set timestamp. Let's restart our bot. Let's say ping. And now you can see here that today at 1050, I sent this message. And now this can be really good if you're trying to have some kind of uh, error log or a chat log or something like that, where you want to keep track of every or the exact timestamps and you want to be able to easily see those messages and see exactly when it was sent if you needed to look something up or vice versa. Okay. And embeds just keep getting cooler. Another thing that we can do is we can go ahead and set the image. So we can say set image and it just needs a link that, ha that ends in you know, .png, .jpeg. Um, and so now let's go ahead and close this. Let's open this. And if we go back to here, to our Discord and we say ping, we can see here that now we have the Discord JS logo and it shows up down at the bottom. Cool. And now we can do the same thing, but we can do what's called a thumbnail. So we can say set thumbnail and we can use that same link not sure why I can't copy this. There we go. Let's start our bot again. Now, if we say slash ping, we can see here that the thumbnail is up in the top right corner. And now this could be useful if you're doing things like player profiles where you're showing the players data on, you know, in the chat, you can have it. So it takes their, their avatar and it puts it up in the corner there. And then all of their stats show up on the embed message. And that's one of the really cool ways you can do that. So that is all I got for you guys today. Before I end this video off, I just have a couple of things that I want to talk about. And these are uh, the embed limits. So basically the limitations of the embed. And now I'm reading this directly from the Discord JS guide site. So that way I know that I am saying this 100% correctly based on what they are saying. So there are a few limits to be aware of when planning your embeds due to limitations set by the API. Here's a quick reference you can come back to. Embed titles are limited to 256 characters. Embed descriptions are limited to 2,048 characters. There can be up to 25 fields. A field's name is limited to 256 characters and its value is limited to 1,024 characters. The footer text is limited to 2,048 characters. The author's name is limited to 256 characters. In addition, the sum of all characters in embed structure must not exceed 6,000 characters. A bot can have one embed per message. A webhook, a webhook can have 10 embeds per message. So that is all I got for you guys today. If you guys learned something or if you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to leave a like and make sure to subscribe. Most of the people who watch our channel are not subscribed. Hurts my feelings a lot. So make sure to subscribe and I will see you guys in the next video.